Hello everyone and welcome back to more vlog mail. I promised you you'd get it pretty soon. We didn't Yeah. We didn't lie to you. Um this is for the month of April 2021 as we continue to work through some of the stuff that we've had uh, I would say in our backlog, but it's not really in our backlog so much as it is on our dining room table. Yeah. But we're opening it today. Starting with our featured leather, which is actually a postcard. This is a postcard from Liz in uh, North Bay, Ontario. It says, hello, Stephen Mao. Hello from the great white north. It's been roughly eight years since the last time I sent something. I had to share pictures of our piggies. Top to bottom is Neo, Coconut, Our Last Chai, and Cookie. Can't wait to see more videos from you guys from Liz. I appreciate it. I always love to see people's pets, and uh, we don't we don't get to see enough smaller critters. Let's say smaller critters, because I want to encompass like reptiles and amphibians. Yeah, like I want to I want to like we don't see larger critters either, like horses or. Yeah, I was my first thought was tigers. I was like, yeah, if anyone lives in a state where it is still legal and you have a tiger, please send us a photo of you and the tiger. Please do it. But also little little critters are fine too. We love critters. Um, also wanted to say uh, thank you to, um, to Colton and Eric for sending us a wedding invitation. We appreciate it. Obviously, we will not be able to be there, unfortunately, but we, we thank you for, for sending the invite and uh, all the best on your special day. Real soon. Real soon. Without further ado, Let's open up some mail. There's actually quite a bit of stuff. I'm just gonna reach over here and grab something. And we're gonna start off uh, with, uh, hey, it's Evan Chai. <laughs> the reason you know is that on the box, it's a Fangamer box, and at the bottom it says, this isn't from Fangamer, it's from Heaven Chai. Heaven Chai in Tucson, Arizona. And inside, let's see what Heaven says. Hello, Stephen Mao and Kepler. I meant to send this to you a long time ago, but I kept putting it off until now, one step closer to actually completing the GameCube collection. Also, this is one of those uh, Japanese-only games that's actually really good, and it's a shame more people didn't get to play it. And then on the back is little Pichu? That's Pichu. My Pokemon knowledge is always a little lacking, but I'm like, that's Pichu. I would put money on that. That's Pichu. Well, heaven, thank you. And uh, there's some other little things in here. Oh my God! They, these uh, these take me back to childhood. These little. Did you ever play with these? The ones I always saw were like already opened, and I never knew how to like launch them. Oh my God! These are so. Oh man, these take me back. Um, if you don't know what these are, I'm sorry about your childhood. Um, these are little uh, para parachute. Para, what's the name when you para, para parachute? Pa no, no. When you the act of parachuting? No, 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 no. Skydiving? No, when you were in the military and you're a para trooper. They're paratroopers. That's I got there. Um, yeah, they're little paratroopers. You you know you can just throw them in the air or you can climb onto a roof. Whatever. Maybe you shouldn't climb onto a roof. I'm not here to tell you to climb onto roofs. That could be dangerous. I'm not held liable for any of that sort of thing. But you just take them, throw them up in the air, and then their little parachutes go, Hoo, and then they fly down. I want to see Kepi's reaction. Or, uh, you know, if you're on vacation and you're staying in a, a tall place and you're up on the 30th floor, you just throw them out. You probably shouldn't do that either. I'm just telling you all the ways that I could have fun as a child and may have fun again now that I have a few of these. Um, there's also a little uh, pack and slip from um, Fangamer, and there's some stickers and stuff in here from Fangamer. And then inside here is open this up. This is uh, another one of the Japanese uh, exclusive games that we are missing for uh, GameCube. And uh, heaven knows that we're you know work like. Not actively, actively working towards it, but all, but like in the grand scheme of things, actively working towards completing GameCube in the sense of exclusive games in regions. Does that make sense? So like this didn't come out in America, so that yeah, it is be, one we would like to collect. So. Exactly. Um, this is Kudurin Squash. Neat. I don't know what this is. Um, it is. Uh, up to four players. It looks interesting. It looks like a party game. Neat. Yeah, we uh, maybe folks don't even know this. You you probably know that we completed the North American GameCube collection. We did. A lot of you helped out with that, and we appreciate it. We have about half, maybe a little more than half, of all of the exclusive to Japan 
GameCube games. So, and there's not that many. I think in total there's like 100, so we have about 50 of them. And uh, I picked up almost all of those just when I was in Japan the last time. It's one of the reasons I really want to go back. So I'd like to finish picking up all of those, um, but haven't helped out by sending this our way, so we appreciate it. And one day, we'll finish them. Did you know there's um, there's there's a French one? Yeah. There's a French there's a French GameCube game. It was only released in France, and so we're gonna have to go to France too. I mean, I'd like to go to France. I th it's called Taxi Three, and it's I, I think it's only a French game. I don't know why I know all of this information. Our next package is from Amazon. And there is some sort of book. It is Forward Life After Loss Book One by Kelsey Shields. And there is a gift note. It says, hey, Stephen Amell, I wanted to send you a copy of my book. So much of the inspiration to finally write it came from you two. P.S. I even painted the cover. Thanks for all that you do from Kelsey, a.k.a. Uh, Gilfy 17 Shields Gaming. Good job on the cover. Yeah, that looks that looks really good. Good work. I I really love um, because this is not this is not the first time that folks have, you know, viewers of ours have published a book, and it's always so cool because I know that that's just such a. It seems like such an insurmountable mountain when you're working on it, and the payoff, and the subsequent dopamine hits of actually finishing the thing is really cool. So I'm so glad that you sent this in. That's awesome. After losing her parents, Lilith has allowed herself to grieve in the protective bubble of her three closest friends. Now that she is starting college, she strives to step out on her own to find herself. Fortunately, she won't have to do this by herself as she makes a new friend, Trista. Very cool. Thank you, Kelsey. Again, congratulations also, because writing a book um, is not easy. Because I don't know if people are familiar with books. They're they're really long and they have lots of words in them. Darrendest thing about books. So, um, congrats and thanks for sending a copy our way. Next up, we have another package from Amazon. And this is oh hey, it's a Blu-ray copy of 1917. Is that the movie where it's like continuous shot? The movie? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. Yes. Uh, there, there is not, right? Okay, no. There no, is... the gift note looks different. Okay, there's no, right? Let me just double check. I'm not losing my mind. Oh, wait, hold on. Nope, there is. Ha ha, I got it. Dear Stephen Mount Kepi, I thought this would appeal to Stephen's edity brain as it's cut to look like one continuous shot for the duration of the film. It has heavy subject matter, so I'd have tissues at the ready. Love, Cat. Well, thank you, Cat. Um, yeah, I've heard really good, uh, information about this. Actually, um, I, I haven't seen the film, but I, I saw a little uh, tiny featurette about the making of it because whenever the film, I, I guess when the film came out, they were talking about it and they were like posting things about it online. And um, there was it was just really, really interesting, the, the lengths at which they went to to make it look as if it's one shot. That being said, haven't seen the film and it apparently is real, real good. So I appreciate you sending a copy our way. Um, I would very, very much like to watch this. At the top it says, a staggering piece of filmmaking. Cool, cool. It's, it's just nice to have uh, possession of um, good films. And I, know, I already know without even having seen this that this is a, a good film, so thank you. Next up we have a few packages from Shutterfly. And uh, I was told that these are from uh, Fidget to Win. And when we say a few, I mean like there's a few. So I'll kind of move through them as quickly as possible, but there's there's a lot. There's a lot of packages. And I, pres I presume they're all from Fidget to Win because- Throw those in that box. Oh, that's smart. I presume they're all from Fidget to Win because they're all from Shutterfly. Um, so that's the, that's the plan. It's a mason jar. Oh, that's neat. What does it say? Home is, home is wherever I'm with you. Deb and Steve, 1984. Oh, well that's cute. That's, 
That's really cute. That's really etched in there too. Cool. Oh wait, these are different. Uh, this is Stephen and Mallory. Little mason jar with our names etched on it. Oh, that's cute. Uh, oh, this is another Stephen and Mallory one, so this is the same as the, the last one. Which means I bet... Yeah, this is the same as the first one. Home is wherever I'm with you. Devin Steve, 19... That's really cute. That's really, really cute. Hi, sweetheart. Aw. Actually, um, my, uh, my parents' anniversary is coming up, so this is really well-timed. They, they'll really appreciate mm -hmm. that. So next up is, aw, oh, it's a little mug, and it's got, uh, it's got Sagan on it. It's got little pictures of, of Sagan. It says, for all kitten photos. Forever loved to miss. Yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot of photos of the kittens when they were just little tiny things. A, uh, a little magnet, uh, of Sagan, and it has a cap on it too. It's just, it's the same thing. It's just forever in our hearts. And then, uh, Loved and missed. And then there's also, um, I have to open these to figure out exactly what these are. Okay, so this is the actual leather. There's leather that goes with all this, and uh, this is from Lisa. The kitty on the card, the kitty on the card, is Mallory. She is my mom and dad's cat. She was mine before I moved, and I couldn't take her with me. The day I got her, I was supposed to get another one, but she was the only one left. So I picked her up and held her close, smiling. I said, you look a lot like Kepi. I will name you Mallory. That wasn't the only reason, though. And then uh, it asks Mal if you would read this part. Okay. Mal, you inspire me to follow my artistic dreams. I have learned more from you than I ever did from my own high school art teacher. He was fresh out of college and didn't care or have a passion for teaching. Our school was also very small and he had to teach three other classes as well. For so long I gave up on my artistic dream and then you made Mal makes and I learned from you like I was a student again. Uh, you, Mal, are a wonderful teacher. You really care about people, and your passion for art shows through your channel whenever you talk about it. So I just want to thank you again for being awesome. You shine in everything you do. Don't ever let someone else take that from you. Then it says, Stephen, you can go back to reading. Uh, you and Mal have always helped me through the hard times, and I know that we'll, uh, that will do it, that it will do it for the hard times ahead as well. Your content makes me laugh and cry at times. Although no matter where our separate stories take us, I know I'm a better person because I got to know you and your wonderful family and friends from Lisa. And then it just, it has a list of all of the various things. So it looks like there's there's a few other things to open too. And then it says, I hope you enjoy all the gifts and let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Well, Lisa, thank you. Um, there, everything already has been- It's very sweet. Very, very sweet, but there's more to open. So let's uh, open it up. So this is a, Oh, this is cute. Look at this. It's a it's a tote bag. It says, enjoy the little things. It's got a, a photo of us from uh, when we were married. That's very sweet. Yeah. I also just haven't looked at this photo in a long time. It feels like about a million years ago, doesn't it? Does. it? There's also, I think this is a little, like, it's a Christmas ornament. And it says love and has a little picture of Sagan and Kep as kittens in there. It says 2021. That's cute. It's a really nice ornament too. Ah, they're playing cards. Okay. There's an entire set of playing cards and then the back says, love you to the moon and back. And it's, uh, it's a picture of me, Mal, and the cats. That's cute. Also, Shutterfly can do all sorts of stuff. Yeah, I, I had I, no idea I they didn't did know that this. they did all this stuff. <laughs> and uh, last but certainly not least, there, there's a little printed canvas. And it's got some photos of us, and it says, love you to the moon and back. That's very cute. Lisa, thank you again. There, this is, there's there's so much here. And again, I'm kind of impressed because I didn't know Shutterfly did all this stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's a lot here. Um, but thank you. It's very, very sweet. And uh, it was a reminder of, um, you know, the, the of, of our family. Yeah. You know, we, we, we have just a, little, just a little small family, but it's a nice family. I like it. And even, you know, even if one one member of our family is not with us anymore, uh, you know, he's still in our hearts. And uh, it's nice to see him. Thank you. Our next package is from Amazon. What? Right before I opened this, and I, I was shaking it, and you were like, what does it sound? And you went, cereal? Cereal? 
Remember, go. remember when we were talking about this? Mm -hmm. Well, since you said this sounded good, thought you should be able to give it a try. Debbie from Missouri. We were talking about this. It was, I think it was on breakfast stream. And this is, if I can get it out of the, the box here. Limited edition mashups, Frosted Flakes and Fruit Loops. It's Frosted Flakes and Fruit Loops in the same box. I'm excited. I'm excited. I, I, hey, I got something to try for, for breakfast stream. Yeah. If the milk is still good, I need more milk. <laughs> cool. I love the idea of doing mashups, honestly. I feel like there should be more cereals that do this. I mean, I guess theoretically you can do this yourself at home with any cereal. Just buy two cereals and pour them in the same bowl. But it's the marketing. It's the mark. Has Tony the Tiger and Toucan Sam ever like talked? Apparently they have. They're working together. I want to hear about the entire mythos behind their friendship. Why isn't that written on the box? Why is the front and the back of the box the exact same? It's twice as tasty. <laughs> I will put this to the test. Thank you, Debbie. I'm gonna find out. I look forward to it. <laughs> I do wish that they would do this with other cereals though. Maybe this is just like- You can a do it yourself. I, but it's not the same. It's not the same. And the next time they do this, I want this on one side and on the other side, I want an entire backstory about how Tony the Tiger knows Toucan Sam and the adventures they've went on. Have they been to like Costa Rica together? Did they go on a trip? Maybe. It's time for us to find out. Anyway, Debbie, thank you. Next up, we have a package from Norway. And there, there's some books in here. I don't think, I don't think there's a gift note or anything. Oh, these are cool. These are freaking cool, man. Look at these. Uh, Malin, Falk, Northern Lights, The Valley of Trolls, The Vikings and the Oracle, and The Something Sisters, The, the Crow, Crow Sisters. Sisters, books one, two, and three. Look at those. Those are just really nice looking books. It's a freaking- Oh, they're it's a, graphic it's, it's a graphic novel. I was gonna say, it's a comic. It's a comic. It's, well, it's a graphic novel. Okay. Um, I just wonder if there's some, some gift note or something in here, but I don't think there is. It's also in Norwegian, which <laughs> makes it a little bit harder, but no, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Also, it's very like, the style is like very almost like Disney-esque. It's, it's got, pretty, the it's, landscapes are gorgeous. Yeah, the landscapes and everything are just really, really gorgeous. Very pretty books. Cool. Yeah, there's three of these. I've never heard of this. Um, the books are uh, the books are in English, which is good. It'd be harder to it'd be really. It'd be a lot harder to know exactly what was going on. Yeah, these these look really cool. Cool. Uh, there's not a gift note, so I'm not exactly sure um, who to thank. But whoever sent the Northern Lights series our way, um, we appreciate it. I've never heard of this, but these are just really, you know, sometimes you 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 get something and like, even if you haven't heard of it, you're like, man, this is like a quality product. This book is like really good book. <laughs> There's probably better ways to describe it, but you know what I mean when it good? You know what how it is when it good? Yes. Okay, well that's this, that's this. Our next package is from Anita in Amelia, Virginia. Ooh, look at this. <gasps> another cat toy that's a pickle. It's another pickle. And on it says, I'm kind of a big dill. That's cute. Crinkle inside, sound that cats naturally love. Cat was actually been on my lap for this entire mail video and then just walked over. To and... investigate the box. Yeah, the, the, the post office, if we get a lot of mail, they'll just give us a- uh... A tote. Yeah, like a post office tote. And you can take it home and it's like, yeah, just bring it back when you when you can. So that's like right off screen and Kep's like, I need to get inside of this. So that's where he is. Anyway, there is also a note. Dear Steve Mao and Kepi, hopefully this will be the last time you see something from me come from this address as I am currently working on moving into something without wheels. As someone who worked in a sports shop for almost five years, the past few months has given me even more amusement as you have been bombarded with real and fake sports teams. 
I so wanted to create a fake shirt for your Seattle mud crabs, but with everything else going on, I just can't right now. Hopefully someone else has the idea too. They did. Uh, instead, I went with the next best thing, giving you two shirts from my favorite hockey teams. Here's some fact about the two teams. So let me pull these out. Can you kind of can. dismantle the, the tissue paper? Professional tissue paper. Uh, the yellow shirt is for Steven. It's from the Norfolk Admirals. You can, I'll read, you hold, oh, that's a, I like, that's a cool design. Uh, founded in 1971 as the Tidewater Wings, the team went through five more names before settling down as the Admirals in 1989 as an ECHL team, the East Coast Hockey League. They had a run in the hockey level right above that in the AHL, American Hockey League, for 15 years before being dropped back down to the ECHL after some complications. With many banners flying over the ice in scope, the one that holds the most is from the 2010 season after they won the Stanley Cup. My family started following them about the time I was born. My grandparents and aunt were uh, season ticket holders and I have so many memories of the arena as well as the seats they had. So many stories and inside family jokes from that time when they followed the team up and down the East Coast. The gray shirt is for Mal. It's for the Hershey Bears. Founded in 1932 Ooh, by, by Milton Hershey, sitting next to present day Hershey Park, they're one of the longest running hockey teams as well as the longest staying in the same building up until the early 2000s. They're currently a part of the AHL and have put uh, and have many awards put towards their name. Uh, my family started following them due to the fact that their mascot is a bear and they're Hershey. But that simple curiosity led to making sure we got to see them play anytime we could. While the Admirals were in the AHL, it, le it left the two to be bitter rivals to the point you knew that there was going to be a fight on the ice. There was also a corner of the stands to avoid during that time because there would be a stuffed Hershey's bear, their mascot Coco, hanging by a noose. It was a tough 15 years being a fan of both sides. I finally got to see a Bears game on their ice um, uh, a couple of years ago and I can't wait till I go back. Sorry this is long and mostly about hockey. <laughs> I hope the shirts fit. I'm sorry, Kepi, I didn't know what size would fit you or if you would even wear a shirt. Until next time, Anita, AKA Kiwi Lee Scipio. And then on the back here, uh, top picture says this is the Norfolk Admirals mascot, Salty Dog. Technically, there's two mascots, but we don't talk about Hattrick. And then the bottom picture says this is Hershey's bear mascot, Coco. I'm in the red and my aunt's in blue. So we got some some photos. It's nice to include photos. That's that's fun, especially to put into perspective, you know, like all of the, the hockey talk. Um, folks that watch know that I, re I really don't know much anything about I mean, really sports, uh, really sports is just a concept. I didn't grow up watching sports, except for the NBA. I watched uh, NBA games in the mid to late 90s with my dad. And because of that, I have some knowledge of basketball from over 20 years ago. And that's it. Not current day basketball, but basketball from over 20 years ago. Um, uh, as far as hockey goes, I know nothing about hockey. I've been so. to a gambler's game. Green Bay Gamblers, one or tw twice. Lindsay wants to go to a Hurricane game. The I mean, Charlotte hockey team. I would, I would love to, I would love to go experience some of these things I never grew up with. Like I said, family's just not a sports family. We just didn't watch anything ever. I mean, you know, besides besides basketball, and I really, I really, like basketball wasn't even a thing in my family. I think it was just I was a tall kid, and they were like, maybe he should watch basketball. So Casey just, plays it. <laughs> Casey plays. <laughs> and like we watched basketball, and like we got like me and my dad got into it. Like we genuinely enjoyed it. But I don't I don't know that there was a a huge interest in basketball before I came along. You know I don't think my dad's a big NBA fan in like the 80s. Maybe I don't know, but I I highly I highly doubt that. Anyway, uh, Anita, thank you for sending this stuff our way, and I know that Kep will absolutely adore this. Our next package is from Kelsey in Round Rock, Texas. All right, Kep is here and is real curious Hi, about buddy. what this. Uh, you laid down. What this is, um, and I don't know what this is. Uh, join our pilgrimage, seeking quality, truth, and accountability in coffee. We journey to find the finest and most unique coffees in the world. Transparency and excellence are the expression of our core. We publish all trades and meticulously roast in small batches daily to achieve the highest mark in coffee. Also, this could just be like a reused box. There's not really a guarantee that says any coffee in it. Um, let's see. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. So fun fact about this, about this, um, about, about this box. Um, this box, we are lucky to have this box because what happened is this box 
got sent through um, UPS, and in a, in a wild turn of events, this box actually wound up with, like, at our old place that we moved out of. Why did that happen? I have no idea. That should not have happened under any circumstances, but somehow it got sent there instead of our P.O. box. So I had to contact our land, our old landlord who had the, had the box and was like, oh yeah, you know, that showed up, you can go get it. But at the time they were out of town. So this actually was on their porch for... A week? A week they or didn't so? bring it in? Well, they weren't, they weren't, I think they were out of town, which yeah. is why. But anyway, long story short. We got it. We have it, but it has been exposed to the elements. And the reason I say that is as I pull the leather out, the leather is definitely like waterlogged. I think it's still readable, but it's, it's a little, it's a little crispy. It's a little crispy. But again, we're lucky, we're probably lucky to have the, the thing. Dear Stephen Mountcappy. Hello, greetings from Texas. My name is Kelsey, tiniest of kitties on Twitch. I'm a cat mom to two ginger boys named Theo and Miles, and also a chicken mom to Solange and Betty White. That's a good name. Cat and chicken ta uh, tags can be found at the end of the leather. Uh, I've been watching y'all on YouTube for a long time and have been catching most of the Friday streams since they started. I'm unfortunately part of the YouTube slash VOD squad for breakfast streams because I'm an elementary uh, special education teacher and uh, I am too busy. Like many other people, I want you to know that your content brings me frequent joy and is often the way I unwind after school. Anyway, onto your package. Hopefully the contents all arrived okay. This was um, the only box I had in my house and I'm currently in quarantine. The first item is a bag of Central Market Hatch Green Chili Chips. Hatch green chilies are a staple here in Central Texas, so I thought you might like to try them. Now I cannot attest to how spicy they are because <laughs> I haven't eaten them, but my husband loves them and considers them white girl spicy. I have no idea what that means. I do. I haven't tried them myself because foods with powdered flavoring on them triggers my migraines. I'm sorry if they got crushed in transit. Uh, they actually seem fine. They seem, they seem mostly fine. They might have got like, there might be a few extra crumbs, but no, they're good. Yeah, I would eat those. I would eat those. I can take, um, and actually Mal, Mal, uh, Mal does eat spicy stuff. In fact, I w I'm gonna say, you've, you've surprised me a lot mm -hmm. in the past like year or so. Yeah. You really have. Um, Cause there's times that we'll eat stuff and I will think to myself like, whew. And Mal will be like, that's got a little spice to it. And I'm like, someone has changed. Anyway, uh, the next two items are two, um, and again, you can see, it's, it, again, it, felt, it rained, it rained, and it just sat on the porch. Uh, the next two items are two Topo Chicos. Oh, that's what these are. Okay. So, I'm gonna pull that out. Um, these are a beverage staple in Texas and also used frequently in the high-end coffee shop world to help cleanse your palate in between coffee varieties. I personally prefer the lime flavored ones, but these are good on their own or with some sort of citrus squeezed in. Sure, this is obviously for Steven. I came across an artist named What's Their Face showing off their work on TikTok. Immediately knew I needed some of their work. Uh, this is where the leather's kind of falling apart. You can find the online shop at whatstheirface.bigcartel.com and their apparel at whatstheirface.store. Uh, blah, blah, something was perfect for Steven. I figured a shirt would be best. Hopefully it's not too big. The website said size up. Let me actually pull this out though. Take a look. That's a sticker, Kepler. Kepler says, I want to see that sticker. So this, oh, it says draft. <laughs> it's true, I have always pronounced that with one syllable. Um, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> I apologize if there's orange cat hair on it. My kittens uh, like to steal clothing and he managed to take the shirt out of the box before I sealed it. Cat sticky notes and hamster stickers are for Mao. I ordered a lot of scrapbook slash journaling, journaling, journaling items from a Chinese company earlier in the year and I thought Mao might like some of them for her TED show. Did I already pull this out? Little, little cat stickers, which is cute. Uh, lastly, uh, the spring toys. 
are for Kepler. My kitten Miles is obsessed with these, so I thought Kepi might find them interesting. They're easily batted and tossed around. Miles often carries his in his mouth throughout the house before deciding on a place to toss it around and ultimately losing it. There's at least 10 unaccounted for somewhere in our house that we cannot find. You can get some more on Amazon. Thanks for everything y'all do to make our world a brighter place. I look forward to seeing what awesome content you make in the future. Love, Kelsey. And then on the back is ch uh, chicken and cat tax. So you can get some of that chicken and cat tax. Kelsey, thank you. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry that there was, there was a bit of um, anxiety over the, the package suddenly disappearing. I'm glad that we found it. I'm confused how it wound up at my old residence, but it's fine. It's fine, and uh, it also gave us a chance to catch up with our landlord. A little bit, yeah. A little bit, which is like, you know, not something we ever needed to do again, but you know, we did and it was, it was fine. It was an enjoyable experience. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to trying these chips. That's a funny shirt, and uh, I appreciate the package. Thanks. Our next package is from Hannah and Yitzi in Providence, Rhode Island. Got it. Let's see here. Ooh, there's snacks. There's lots of, let me put it over to the side. There's lots of snacks. Might be a leather, but we'll have to get to that. This is carrot cake. That great carrot cake taste combined with chewy coconut. What is it though? They're macaroons. Oh, I didn't read, macaroons They're the in other a, macaroons. They're not was, the French ones. They're it was the... in a different font and I was like, I my brain did not see macaroons. It was like, just, just, just a carrot cake. And a, he sounds and a good. Uh, this is. Bisley smoky flavored wheat snacks. There's also one second. Kepler's eating something. He's very upset that you took his delicious tissue paper away from him. Yes. You will have to find something else to do. I'm sorry. You can't eat tissue paper. He's like, don't worry. I'll find something else to get involved with. Uh, almond butter puffs with real almond butter. Um, Coated matzos, chocolate flavored with sprinkles. Those look good. He found the cat toy pickle from earlier. Okay. Yeah, and it's it's stuck to that. We haven't freed it, so he's gonna be like, why why can't I get this <laughs> free? Um, there are ooh fruit flavored slices. Those are good. Yeah, that's a that's a cool little variety pack too. Cashew butter puffs. Ooh, I love cashew butter. I'm working, I think I opened this on the wrong side because yeah. I see the leather at the bottom. <laughs> Potato scoops, ketchup, there's two of those. And Bisley pizza. All right, now at the bottom. Dear Stephen Amell, with apologies to my long suffering husband who proofreads everything I write since I tend to drop words, I am writing again. Glad that not only my first package found its way to you unscathed, but also that the leather was uh, included, uh, that was included seemed to do everything I thought it would. Also apologies to Mao. I think I made you cry a bit last time. This time, I promise, this leather is not three pages long with a sheet entirely dedicated to images. Uh, this letter I'm writing now is being done from the comfort of my own home shortly after receiving my first of two COVID vaccines about 24 hours after you guys posted the January mail video. While I know that this will be delayed, I hope you have had a wonderful Easter. My husband and I currently are, uh, are celebrating the holiday Passover and I thought, since I know you like to try food, it would be different and thus interesting to try some Jewish snacks, particularly those found around this holiday. In relation to mentioning the holiday of Passover, I recently bought two mugs from Al Shop to use during the holiday, the Untitled Goose Game one and the Mother 3 Sunflower Fields one. Normally I would save them to use again only for Passover as I need special dishes for this holiday, but I like them so much I plan on using them all year, though I think I will be gifting the sunflower one to my mother-in-law who loves sunflowers. I just wanted to tell you how much I love your art and how happy I was when I got them. As an aside, I actually got two of the sunflower ones because the first one was chipped around the rim that is now being used as a pot for some small flower or something. I can't convince myself to throw away such a pretty mug. As a quick follow-up from the last package in leather, it was really surprising and unsurprising to learn that without you, outside con meetups don't happen. I hope when in-person in cons start up again, you will attend another PAX East and we talk face-to-face. -face. Earnestly, you two and Kepi too have been an incredibly bright spot in my life, and I hope to be able to thank you one day when these times are in the past. Now I should go. I promised my husband I would keep this leather brief as my writing style can sometimes be impenetrable for him to proofread. Till next time, many more happy and bright days. Hannah and her husband, Yitzi. 
P.S. My father picked up the unicorn lights for me at a different Swedish store, not Ikea, but I can't remember the name of it, so the Ikea guess was rather spot on. I mean, it reminded me of Ikea. I was like, I think I've seen these at Ikea? I guess not, but it seems like Ikea. And uh, that's this is super cool. I love getting yeah. different, uh, different snacks from um, different cultures and all around the world, and like, it's always fun to try stuff I haven't tried. With sprinkles. I want to try flavored wheat snack pizza. Oh, I wanted to try the macaroons. Well, then open them. And then you can try them. Oh, those smell so good. Well, these are good. I like these. I'm very tempted to eat the entire thing right now. How are those? Really good. It's been a long time since I've had a good macaroon. And they are delicious. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I've ever had one. You have. We've gone to that New York deli on 17. That is the- Oh, those are macaroons. Yeah, the, the, there's our crispy. These are soft though. These are really good. I have it. I, the, honest to God, that might be the only one time of, you've had them. Yeah, I mean, I might have had them before, but I can't. I can't uh, really. These recall. are really good, though. They're a good little snack. They do taste like pizza. I like them. What is the um, chocolate thing? What is this? Coated matzos. With spring, okay, you know. I don't know what that is. I am going to eat one because I do not know what it is. And it is my assumption that by consuming a coated matzo, that I will, oh my God, what, what? I don't know what this is. Break me off a piece of that. I still don't know what this is. It's kind of like a cracker? Coated matzo. Wheat flour, sugar, palm oil, cocoa powder, water, vanilla, sprinkles. I mean, my apologies to, you know, our Jewish viewers. But um, that's a large piece. Well, it's it's not that big. It's very light. I think it's like it's like a it's like a cracker of some sort, but it's covered in chocolate. It's really good. That said, it is covered in chocolate. which could contribute to why it is very tasty. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I'm, I'm very unfamiliar, if, if I'm just, you know, painfully honest. I'm extremely unfamiliar with Jewish culture and Jewish food, um, but I like food and that much is true. The things we have tried have been excellent. Yeah, yeah, neat. Thank you for sending this our way. I love, I love this stuff, this is great. You'll have to try one of these later. Okay. Or not, because they may be mine. Uh, well, you, I don't know if you'll get any more of these, because these, they, it looks like there's a lot here. I just, I'll eat all of these in like five minutes. Like as soon as we're done with the mail video, video I'll be like, yeah, I can eat those all right now. Yep, right this second. But they're good, they taste good. Our next package is from Regina in Towson, Maryland. Oh, hold on. There we go, I got it. And inside here... Was there something in that? In this? Oh, no, it's the printing on it. Uh, there's a letter. First off, it says, thank you, thank you, thank you, and it's got a lot of pizza on it, which makes me want um, pizza. Inside says, hello, this is the first time I'm writing to you, so I don't really know what to say. I've been watching the vlog for a good number of years, and I really wanted to say thank you for creating great and relatable content. Watching the vlog always brightens my day, and it's amazing to see how far things have come. 
In the box, you'll find one PS4 title, one Switch title, and one anime, anim, anime Blu-ray series. In addition, there are a few boxes of local coffee for the Keurig. I know that both of you like trying new cake cups, so I wanted to send some your way. Again, thanks for all you do. Best, Regina. Well, thank you, Regina. And, uh, you know, you're welcome. I... <laughs> I, I, you know, I like, I like the stuff that we make, and I'm glad that the, you know, the stuff that we make, other people like to watch, so, uh, you know, we'll just keep making it, but we appreciate it. Uh, let's take a look at what's, what's all in here. Um, this is, uh, Dead Man Wonderland, the complete series, and it says anime classic. Gory, explicitly violent, frequently over the top, and viscerally cruel. I'm on board. I'm down. I, I'm... <laughs> Sign me up. Uh, there's also... Uh, some sort of Sonic game. Team Sonic Racing for the Switch. I forget that they've they've actually made quite a few of the, the Sonic yeah. Racing games. Uh, the, the concept is so funny to me that Sonic drives a car. Maybe he's tired, he doesn't want to run anymore. I bet that's the whole backstory. His Tails is like, we gotta get Dr. Robotnik in Sonic. Or no one else has, no one else can even keep up. So they're like, well, let's just put us all in cars. Let's just all have cars now. It's completely fair, actually, completely fair. Uh, there is a copy of, oh, <laughs> it's Red Dead Redemption 2 for the PS4. Nice, fantastic, thank you for that. Also, if someone has not played this game, play it. Just play it. Just play it. Just play it. I'm not going to tell you this is the best game ever made or anything. I may be willing to tell you that this has the strongest characters in any video game I've ever played. That actually might be true. Gosh darn it, it's good. And finally... Coffee! Coffee! There's a few boxes of these. This is Baltimore Coffee Mount Vernon Blend. Baltimore coffee. Actually, I believe that we've had some I of have. these. We've I We've had some of these we before. We have, and it was very good. Yeah. And there's, uh, like I said, there's there's actually, there's several boxes. This one is Friendship Blend, and this is Black Raven Blend. Very, very cool. We roast the world's best coffee. I believe it. I believe it. Help. <laughs> Regina, thank you. Um, really appreciate that. And uh, Help. Do you need help holding the... Help. <laughs> when you said help, I thought you wanted help in holding it as opposed to help take it all. Instructions were not clear. Um, Regina, thank you again. And uh, I'm looking forward to... I mean, honestly, we'll probably work through the coffee. Pretty quick. Quickly. We will quickly drink the coffee. Our next package is from Morgan in Leesburg, Virginia. I did it. I got it open. And in here are some player's guides. And I already know that there are player's guides because there's a gift note that was tweeted to me. And it says, hi, Stephen Amount. I've been a fan for almost 10 years now and I've never sent anything. Time to change that. Here's some extra guidebooks for your collection. I think you already have one or two, so you can give those to the game store. Some are also written uh, in and not in the best condition, but I hope that's all right. Best wishes to you, your family, and all of your friends, especially considering the state of the world. Try to stay safe and take care from Morgan. Morgan, thank you. And let's take a look at what's actually in here. There is Yoshi's Island DS, which is uh, cool. This is a game I on honestly often forget exists. <laughs> Have you ever played this? Mm -mm. I mean, you can just kind of take a look and yeah, be like, what the heck is going yeah. on? Like there's Donkey Kong and Peach and Wario. It's just a wild, it's a wild game. Uh, there is the uh, Brawl Player's Guide, the City Folk Player's Guide, Phantom Hourglass Player's Guide, and... The very large. Breath the very Lines. large and also beautiful, beautiful art, um, Breath of the Wild. And inside the Breath of the Wild, there's a... Oh, map. is this a it's map? A Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that. It's just a big old map. I won't open the whole, whole thing, but you can see it is a map. That is really, really neat. Morgan, thank you. Um, 
big fan of the the artwork on the the Breath of the Wild. The I mean the player's guide, but then just like the key art that they did, mm -hmm. it's just really really beautiful. This is just a like a very painterly style, and I really really like that. But yeah, these are uh, these are all fantastic, and um, I love player's guides. I just they're they're a, they're a bit of a lost art. They're um, they've largely gone the way of the dinosaur. There's some companies that are still producing them, but um, you know, reading them, especially for older games, especially if you can get like the official Nintendo ones, because yeah. Nintendo does not make them anymore. Um, I don't know. There's something very special about having a guide book in your hand, and uh, I've just always really loved it. So, thank you. Our last two packages are Mark from Vermont. Oh. The first one. Ooh, the first one is from. I mean, they're they're from Mark from Vermont, but it's from King Arthur's Baking Company. And uh, on top is a little. Hi, Kepler. Uh, on top is a little note, and it says. Uh, time to step up your hamburger bun game. <laughs> oh, so there's a sourdough tips and recipes book. Uh, sourdough hamburger buns. So there's some just instructions on like how to best make the hamburger buns. A lot of paper. Oh, snap. Oh, wow. There's a scone pan. Ooh, a scone pan. You want scones? You need a pan, scone pan. Mark had sent us uh, some of King Arthur's scone mixes, mm -hmm. and now I have a scone man pan. This is really nice. Finally, a <laughs> scone man. Let's throw the scones in the scone man pan. If you eat scones, you become a scone man. That's what happens. I'm gonna eat the scone from the scone pan, I'll become a scone man. Oh my God. If Dan eats a scone from the scone pan, he'll be a scone Dan man. I'm done. Um, there is also potato flour. Ooh. There's a lot of stuff in this box. Uh, dry milk. And I'm gonna be honest, this is the weirdest thing I've ever felt in my life. What a, what? That's weird, that's very strange to touch. Oh, it does what our sand does. It's very odd. There's instant yeast, saf instant. And then we have got some, hold on, actually there's more. There's more stuff in here. Oh, it's under the, okay, I gotta do this stuff first. There is dark pumpernickel. <gasps> dark pump. I heard that you like macaroons, so here's coconut macaroons. Oh my God. We are gonna, we, we, we're gonna be making bread all the time. This yeah. is so exciting, I'm yeah. so freaking excited. Shortbread. Shortbread. Golden brioche. It's time for more French toast. That rhymes. Uh, white whole wheat, uh, English muffin mix. And then some all-American fudge brownies. But wait, there's more. What is? Oh no. What is this? Oh snap. Oh, it's an English muffin pan. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. And there's also, I think this is it. Okay, there's also this, which, uh, it's a, oh, it's a sourdough starter. Oh, cool. Fresh sourdough starter, which is, an, I'll leave it in this little baggie, but sourdough starter. Holy crap. Mark, thank you. Um, and, and again, was it, it was a big box. Was it 2020? Was it 2019? I don't remember now. I don't remember now, but getting the, getting the bread maker ended up being one of the coolest gifts that we've ever received. So for, uh, I mean, for the bread maker and then for everyone who has sent in bread mixes, so many folks have done that. Thank you to everyone involved in the process and getting more bread into our bodies. It's delicious, and they're really it it it's there it's there's nothing quite like it. There's good bread, and then there's bread you made yourself, and it just came out of the thing, and you cut it, and it's really great. Anyway, that is not the only thing that Mark sent, because that was from uh, King Arthur. But there's also this box, so I'm gonna open this box and see exactly what is in here as well. I hear a jingle bell. I do hear a little jingle, a little jingle jangle. There, he just came back up. Uh, so there's some- Hand towels some or hand wash towels. Towels. And it says, uh, oh, I think it's love is a four-legged word. 
Yeah, and there's some other matching hand towels. Let's I'm out those. of room, so you will have to. Okay, that's fine. There, this is a big mail video. Uh, there are these. These are blue burst, crunchy, creamy, and bursting with flavor with pollock and chicken. Bet he'll really love that. And real chicken is the first ingredient. There's all sorts. There's all sorts of um, of toys and stuff in this. This is uh, Nine Lives Crunchy Treats. There is uh, Kong Active Interior Bell Creates Enticing Sound. There is, uh, th this is just, this is actually just a box for Kepler. The entire box is just a box for Kepler. He is staring you down. There's a battle ball. Oh my goodness. Youch, catnip. He's, he's like, what, what have you got there, bud? What have you got? Hey, pal, there's just a lot of stuff here for you. Hi. There's a lot of stuff here for you. I tell you what, let me get the tag off of this. Let me get the tag off of this and you can play with it, okay? Oh, don't, Straight into don't the box. Don't get into the box. Don't get into the box. Hold on. Give me, give me just a moment. Give me a moment, pal. He's already, he's already attacking things in the box. All right. He's decided on something else. Okay, well, that's not what I prepared for you. So you've got to... What are you after? Here, this also is a thing for you. What is this? What is this? I don't want that. What's this? I it's want a little. Other. It's a little um, catnip lemon. You smell that? What's oh god. Okay, you still have claws, so let's let's be careful. That's not on screen at all. <laughs> Isn't it? It looks like he's boxing. <laughs> it's like doing this. Come here, bud. Come here. Look here. Look here what I got for you. You like that? Oh, you like? Oh, you're trying to bite. It won't fit in your mouth, honey. It's it's a little large. You have a small head. Yeah. You, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Throw it. You want this? Here, watch out. Watch this. Go get it. He's like, I'm gonna try and figure out how to get over there to that. There he goes. Good lord. There's still some other stuff in here. Um, more treats. Um, another one of those yowch balls. This is the tomato. Okay, yeah, he was... <laughs> it's wet. <laughs> this is what he was going after. He's like, I'm gonna get that in my mouth as fast as possible. There's uh, some catnip seeds to actually grow catnip. There's a little uh, gouch. It's, it's called a stinky. And uh, some more Kong toys. So you can put the treats in here and they have to like work to get the treats out. Mark, thank you. Um, Holy cow, that- He's that, going to town on that lemon. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So earlier we threw the- um, Pickle? The pickle, and he went after the pickle, and now the lemon is just, oh, the lemon. He's so excited. Mail, you get a lot of, you get a lot of fun toys for mail videos, don't you? Well, he's having the time of his life. Mark, thank you, I, I appreciate it. And thank you so much for, I mean, not only all the stuff for Kepler, but then also, um, you know, the, the immense mm. amount of I kept a sourdough starter for um, about six months once, so yeah, I totally know what I'm doing, and I'm excited to have another one. Okay, cool. So that's exciting. Yeah, there's so there's so much bread and and stuff. Like I'm I'm that that's, that's ser I'm serious whenever I say that's been one of my favorite things of the past year or so is just making bread, and that's something that I think on paper I wouldn't have known about myself, but having actually made it, it's like oh this is great, it's really great. Um, and it's just, it's fun to do. So uh, we'll be making more stuff very, 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 very soon. And to everyone that sent something in today, thank you so much. Um, he he's, found the box. He's, he's finding boxes. Uh, we appreciate it. And um, we're just surrounded by so much stuff. And we thank you. Um, it's always nice to, to you know, to, to receive uh, kind notes. And, uh, you know, everyone is so generous with um, all the different stuff they send. And I love to just taste things from around the world and different cultures. And it's just, it's just fun. It's fun. I apologize there's been a little wait on mail, but we got it coming back out again. And that's, that's nice. Um, and yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. If you want to send something, there's a link in the description of this video. In all mail videos, you can find out what to send, what not to send, where to send it. And uh, we'll see you soon. We'll have an, we'll have another mail video out soon. And uh, you know, Kepler will enjoy the boxes. And we'll enjoy the bread. It's it's a match made in heaven. <laughs>